The new movie features on the D4 truly make this camera a professional filmmaking tool. Let's start off with the resolution. First of all, you can record full HD videos at either 30, 25, or 24 frames per second. If you throttle down the resolution to HD at 1280 by 720, you can record frame rates of up to 60 frames per second. This is perfect for slowing down your action in post-production for slow motion sequences. Depending on your settings, you can record up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds of uninterrupted video. Audio monitoring is a new feature on the D4, and you can accomplish this in one of two different ways. First of all, in live view, you'll be able to see a live meter of your volume sensitivity up on the left-hand side of the screen. You can adjust this manually to one of 20 different levels simply by holding this key down and using your multi-selector to bring that either from 1 to 20 or up to A for automatic. You can also monitor your audio through a headphone set using the 3.5 millimeter jack on the D4. On the side of the camera, there's a port here that opens up for an external microphone. Adjacent to that is the port for your headphones. Simply plug, plug your headphones in, and immediately on the screen, you'll also see an indicator for the volume of your headphones. You can adjust this to one of 30 different levels. You can now record videos in one of three different cropping modes on the D4. You can record your videos in FX, full frame, DX, which is a 1.5 times crop, or the new 2.7 times crop, which is a pixel for pixel 1920 by 1080 from the center portion of the sensor. This allows you to use a prime lens such as a 50 millimeter and achieve field of views equivalent to 50, 75 millimeter, or 135 millimeter field of view, all with the same depth of field characteristics and all recorded at full HD 1920 by 1080. One of the coolest features on the D4's video capabilities is the ability to use the HDMI port to export a clean, uncompressed feed at 4228 bit to an external recording device. This gives you better editing workflow and removes the clip limit that you had when recording to either one of your two memory card slots. Another really cool feature on the D4 is the fact that you can now, while exporting your video to an external recording device, use a power aperture option to open and close the aperture of your lens smoothly through both the function and the depth of field preview button. This allows you to have smooth transitions to black or white, adjust your exposure without having to manipulate either your shutter speed or your ISO. The D4 now has an option to link the starting and stopping of your videos to the shutter release. This option is in your custom functions and allows you to plug in an accessory into the 10 pin port, such as a wired or wireless accessory and start and stop your videos without having to physically touch the camera. With the same custom function, you can assign your shutter release to take live frame grabs of your movie while you're recording it. It'll give you JPEGs at the same resolution as your video, either 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. The D4 now has a brand new feature built in called time-lapse photography. It's located inside of the shooting menu and all you do is set your interval, determine your shooting time, which can be set to a maximum of seven hours and 59 minutes, and the camera will actually calculate how long your output will be, depending on the frame rate of the movie that you choose. In the end, the camera creates an H.264 MOV file of your final movie. All these new features combined expand the creative possibilities for photography and video professionals. For more information, check out Nikon.ca.